Okay, welcome to step two in diaphanization. We're going to be making the cartilage stain today and you're going to need a plastic lid for this step. You're going to need a graduated cylinder and glacial acetic acid. And this stuff smells really strong, so work in a well-ventilated area or use a mask. You're going to need 40 ml of the glacial acetic acid. And then you'll need 95% ethyl alcohol. And you're going to measure out 60 ml. That's 60. So 50 ml here. And then 10 more ml. 60. And now you'll need Alcyon Blue. This is the actual cartilage stain. You're going to need a scale for this that can measure in milligrams. And we're going to measure out two milligrams of the Alcyon Blue. And now that that's measured out, we're going to add that to the glacial acetic acid and ethyl alcohol. And there you have a cartilage stain. It'll get darker blue over time. Alright, so now we can go ahead and move our specimens out from the water and into the cartilage stain. And they're going to stay in the cartilage stain for 24 hours. And the reason you need a plastic lid for this is because the glacial acetic acid will eat through the metal, so use plastic. Okay, now that it's been 24 hours, we're going to rehydrate our specimens. So go ahead and put your specimens into a new jar. And for rehydration, we're using 95% ethyl alcohol. You can measure it out or you can just pour it over until they're covered. We're just going to go ahead and measure it out to 100 ml. And here they will sit for another 24 hours. After 24 hours, you're going to need to refresh the ethyl bath. So 95% ethyl alcohol into a new jar. And throw your specimens in there. And that's where they'll stay for another 24 hours. After 24 hours, you're going to need a 70% ethyl alcohol bath. And you can do that by measuring out 75 mLs of the 95% ethyl alcohol. And 25 mLs of distilled water. Now go ahead and move your specimens in. And you guessed it, they're gonna stay there for another 24 hours. All right, after 24 hours, you can just put them in a bath of just distilled water. You don't have to measure this out. You can just cover them up or you can measure it, whatever you like to do. And they will stay in the distilled water for 24 hours. I'll be putting down in the description everything that you're going to need for the entire process as well as instructions for what we did today.